Well, right now, I think we, we could say that that we're still we're still a youthful group and still young. And you and you look at it, we still, you know, have have um, you know we're not an experienced laden team with the, with a bunch of guys who've been part of the NC2A tournament with many many deep runs uh, with uh, on the team, you know, with player wise. So, uh, but I will say the amount of minutes our guys played in meaningful games last year for the freshmen. It uh, will go a long way going into this season because they've been kind of thrown in the fire last year right away, and that uh, allowed them to, to gain a lot of valuable experience. We are deep. I believe we're deep, but a lot of that can't be determined until we get to preseason practices, so we kind of know where we're at, who's going to be good enough to help us, what's our strengths, what's our weaknesses, and then go from there. But uh, we want to play in an attack style. I mean, both offensively and defensively. Again, if you're, I know a lot of people, especially in the city, want me to press and press and press. But you got to be committed to that 24/7 in your, in your uh, workings with the, you know, in your practice situations. I want us to play fast, especially from the defensive end. But you can do different ways by doing that, by even just playing man-to-man -man defense and picking up, you know, farther in the backcourt. The other thing is, I don't want us to give up threes. I, it's one of my pet peeves is to take the three out of the game from the opponent because in this day and age the three-point shots a possession and a half and that uh, a lot of teams are able to beat teams or stay involved in games and have opportunities because of the three-point shot we have to take the three out of the game whether we're pressed or not we don't want to we, we want to make teams force them to shoot contested twos I talked to Jeff Hathaway from UConn, who's the athletic director there and who's the head of the chair of the selection committee. And I talked to him about, you know, what's, you know, what is what is the committee going to look at as as you go into next year for the for the 11 12 year. And he talked about non-conference strength of schedule, uh, who you play, where you play, and how you did. So we really upped our non-conference strength of schedule. The fans wanted that. Um, and um, even our buy games or guarantee games where we're not returning it to somewhere so-called, I mean, we got good teams. So it's going to be a really, really tough non-conference schedule. We'll be tested early and often, and we'll see how we are. I think the league's going to be strong. Still going to be good players. I think people think the league's going to be down. I disagree. I think the league's still going to be very good. I think there's a lot of teams. Yeah, maybe a team or two lost some senior guys, but you got a lot of teams that got everyone back too. And they've signed some good players. Me another tough, tough league. You got really good coaches in this league and good players in this league and good teams. Uh, this is not my program. This is the third my third year as a head coach, but uh, this is this will never be my program. There's too many people that have laid the groundwork, uh, both as coaching and playing and administration, and most importantly, the Tiger Nation, the fan base, to lay the foundation for us to continue to be at a high level. So this will never be my program. I'm just kind of in the, in the chair. As I sit here, the gatekeeper, this program will survive in advance and be always at a high level, regardless of who's sitting here. And I recognize that. I don't, I don't uh, take that for granted. Uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And... Um, so no, this I don't look at it as this is ever my program or taking shape. I just look at it, what, you know, when I leave this beautiful earth, I've said this many times that um, they'll, this program is going to be really, really good even for the next 50 years, 60 years, 150 years, 200 years, it doesn't matter. The program will always be good because of, uh, because it's about, the, it's, it's about the name on the front of the jersey. It's never about the name on the back, nor is it ever about the head coach.